everypony, it's Cleo here, and today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing these two Shopkins sets, which were very kindly sent to me by Moose Toys to review. I'm going to be unboxing them, reviewing them, and then I'm going to be comparing Cutie Corn here to a My Little Pony Unicorn. So first up, we're opening the Princess Puppy Garden Party Bridey Shoppy Doll. She's a little shoppy pack and comes with an exclusive petkin. And here's the back of the box. So now it's time to get her out of the box. Might be a little bit easier with scissors. <clears throat> okay, this might be a bit easier. Maybe. She is out of the box. First, let's take a really quick look at the pamphlet, which is the happy places where meet little shoppies and their ponies. Okay, over here we have some of the really pretty little dolls. There's Bridie. Then over here we have some of the ponies. Oh, there's Cutie Corn, who we're going to be opening in a minute. And then there's a couple of other ponies. That one looks just like Pinkie Pie. It's Bella Bliss. And then this one looks like Cheerily. It's Royal Prancer. They're so pretty. I love those two. And then there's a character to ride them. Oh, they're so adorable. And on the other side, there's the Cozy Kitty School Camp, the Pampered Pony Stable, the Berry Delicious Cooking Class, and the Pretty Pony Show Jumping. Anyway, here is Bridie close up. Let's give her a little twirl. First of all, as you can see, she comes with a clear round stand which you can just plug her foot onto really easily so she balances without wobbling over at all. Which I think is really nice because a lot of dolls have huge heads like this and just wobble over, but this has been thought through. And then she also comes with a pet Kim bouquet. Let's take a little closer look at that one. The base colour over here is just the most beautiful minty green colour. And there's a slightly darker version of the same colour here. It's got sugary pink roses. And a cute little puppy face on it! It's got a white ribbon going down. And there's the back of it. This is so pretty. Some of my favourite colours right there. I love those combinations. Oh, it's so pretty! The little face of this is so adorable. And it's even got a little loop on it so you can fit her hand into it so she can hold it. Bridie herself has a very nice fair skin colour. Baby blue eyes. Teeny little pink eyebrows and cute little puckered up lips, that's adorable. She has very, very, very pastel pink hair, which has a highlight of a dark pink on the end here. And it's really pretty in little curls at the ends, as you can see. It twizzles round. She's wearing a mini little white bridal dress, which has some mint green details on the ends here. It's got a little ribbon and it's covered in little ruffles. You can just take it off at the back here like so. And underneath it's a really bright pink. It's got white little leggings and the prettiest little shoesies. I love all the little details on them. They're covered in little swirls and got pretty little looking lacy heels, little bows. I would love to wear a pair of shoes like that. You can't take them off, but really, who would want to take them off? She has a huge white bow in her hair with some lace around it and a pink heart. And then she also has a little veil around the back, which looks all lacy on the ends and super pretty. She is such a cute little doll, and she is poseable at the head from side to side. Her arms are poseable to go up and down. Then each of her legs is poseable, going backwards and forwards so she can sit down and do a little walk. Anyway, I believe I'm correct in saying this little doll can be put on top of one of the ponies, so let's open up Kiwi Corn and see if I'm right. Here is the Happy Places Pampered Pony Stable Cutie Corn! It's a Happy Pony Pack. Includes an exclusive petkin, and she's just the prettiest shopkin toy ever. Oh my gosh, I love her! There's another picture of her and all of her gorgeousness around the side here. And this is what everything looks like on the back. If you want to know what it says on the back here, you can watch my video unboxing the whole haul of shopkins. Anyway, let's get her out of here. I've just noticed that the inside here has little combs and trophies and rosettes and flags in there to relate to the pony itself. That's really cute. And here 
think she is out of the box. Now before we take a close look at her, I want to show you the pamphlet again. This is exactly the same one as before, but I did just notice something. It says here that cutie corn is hard to find and lucky to have. How lucky is that? Okay, firstly, as you can see, she has a gorgeous pearly finish all over. There is not a little bit of her without that pearly finish, and I just love it. The main colour of her body is a gorgeous white, much like a real pearl. And then she has a very sugary pink gradient going up her hooves here, which just looks gorgeous. That's my favourite colour. Pearly pink is the best colour in the world. She has pretty little dark pink pearly star bracelet things going on in her front hooves. They're really pretty, I love the swirliness of them. Then she has a saddle in that same colour with yellow, lighter pink and blue stripes on it. The saddle is not removable, but I think she'd look kinda skinny without it anyway. Her tail's in a super pretty little ringlet twizzle shape. And it starts out a turquoisey pearly blue and goes into a pearly lilac on the end with a lovely gradient between. And then we get onto this fabulous mane which starts out in that aqua blue colour, has a gradient down to a pearly yellow, and that has a gradient down to a pearly pink. I just love those colours together. I like how it looks like it's green between the yellow and the blue there. That's really pretty. Also, she has 100% hair goals. Look at those twizzles. I wish my hair looked like that. She's wearing a bright pink pearly crown. She has a diddy little horn going on and there's a little star charm hanging off it. And then round the back, the crown has little wings. It's so cute. And then she has one popping out from this side as well. Her ear also pops out of her hair. They haven't covered it up. I love how detailed the crown is. Once again, it's not removable, but I don't think you'd want to take it off. Her eyes are in the usual Shopkins style with a very rounded looking eyelashes, and they are pink and aqua blue, the colour of them, really pretty. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but she actually has a little bit of a pink eyeshadow butterfly wing going on, which looks super pretty. And she also has it on this side, but you really can't see it because this is covering it up. She has a little pink gradient on her nose, and there's some little teeny tiny little stars at the sides there. She has such a pretty little face. So cute. Then she also has a little winged shopkin here, or a petkin even. It's a lovely pale yellow colour with a pearly pink gradient on the ends of the wings. Little stars around the sides. And there's this little face. It's got little freckles and everything. Now, as you can see, just above her tail, there's a little hole. And on this, there's a little peg. So you should be able to plug it in right there to give her a little pair of wings. I don't know if it's meant to be an accessory or if she can actually fly with them, but I really like the colours. So there's one last thing to do with Cutie Corn. We've got to see if Bridie here can fit on top so she can ride her. Let's just pop her on. Eh. Oh, it works. She can ride her. Look at that. Oh, I'm sure she's made to do that. Let's just turn her head so it looks a little more comfortable. Ta-da! Oh, they look so cute together. Look at the pink. Pink and white together is so pretty. <coughs> Bridie's going to make one grand entrance to her wedding riding on cutie corn, isn't she? A wedding never to be forgotten. Now the only thing left to do is to compare cutie corn to a My Little Pony. And I've chosen Princess Celestia because I think she's the most similar in colour scheme and pose. Okay, the first thing I can think to say is they're about as similar as they are different. Obviously, Cutie Corn is an awful lot shorter. They're very, very similar looking legs. I mean, I think Cutie Corn's a little bit skinnier, but they're very much in the same vein. They even both have little shoesies on their hooves. Where Celestia has huge wings, Cutie Corn only has these teeny little clip-ons. And Celestia's horn is a lot longer. Celestia's hair is nice and soft and brushable, but Cutie Corn is pearly all over. Celestia's accessories are removable, but Cutie Corn can have a human ride on top of her. However, their faces are extremely different. As you can see, this one has a much wider nose and smaller eyes. And it's more squarish in shape too. Now, I'm not going to lie. Obviously, my heart will always be with the My Little Pony brand. But I was very pleasantly surprised by these existing. They are super, super cute. I do really, really love Cutie Corn. She is a definite part of a new collection of mine with my Shopkins. She's just so pretty. I wish the My Little Ponies had some very pearly ones like these. The colours are just fantastic. 
Makes me wish I designed my pony OC like this. Now, something I must say about Cuticorn is that there's nothing really wrong with her. Most of the toys I open to review have something a little bit wrong with them. But she's perfect. She's printed perfectly out of the box. She does everything she's supposed to do. Nothing's broken. Nothing's misprinted. So I'm very pleasantly surprised by that because most toys are not perfect straight out of the box. Not these days. And lastly, here she is compared to a regular size pony. Gosh, the proportions are really different. The head's a completely different size and her body's a lot thinner. But they're both so cute. Very different. Not terribly compatible looking, but both very cute. Anyway, that is it for this video. Let me know in the comments what you think to these new toys. How do they compare to My Little Pony for you? Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for lots of fun new videos every week. Thanks for watching!